In this installation video, we will demonstrate the ease of installation for the WaySafe True Toe weight distribution hitch. Prior to starting installation, be sure to download the WaySafe app and read the entire manual. You can also visit our website for ease of installation. Check the manual and make sure that you have all the correct tools and parts necessary for assembly. Park your trailer and tow vehicle on flat level ground surface in line with each other. Be sure to follow all safety warnings for setup and use. Insert the correct size WaySafe tow ball into the designated hole inside the hitch head assembly. With the tow ball inserted, use the provided shoulder ball pin and lock washer and tighten the hex wrench until the bolt is completely tight and is sub flush with the face of the head assembly. Torque to 30 foot pounds. Level the trailer to be parallel to the ground. This can be done by using a level or measuring the front and back of the trailer frame to the ground. Now measure from the ground to the top of the trailer coupler. With that measurement, insert the correct size of draw bar into the receiver of the tow vehicle. Depending on what the height of the trailer coupler is, the draw bar may need to be in the rise or drop position. Generally, the ball height should be 1 to 2 inches above the coupler height. Slide the head assembly onto the draw bar and insert the lock plate key assembly into the correct holes to set the ball height. Be sure to push the lock plate key assembly all the way in until the pins are fully inserted and the lock tab is engaged. To check this, try and pull out on the key lock assembly, making sure that the lock tab is secure before towing. For future reference, save your height setup onto the DTW tool on the WaySafe app or on our website. Input both your drawbar positions, rise or drop, and how many empty holes are visible above the top of the head assembly in the drawbar. For this example, we are using the drop position with two and a half holes visible above the head assembly. Now we need to find the appropriate trailer bracket location. Locate the center line of where the trailer brackets need to be placed by measuring from the center of the trailer coupler along the trailer frame and put a mark at 32 inches on both sides. In a scenario where there may be a frame member, propane mount, or battery mount in a way that can't be moved, in these rare cases, the trailer brackets can be moved forward closer to the trailer coupler to a minimum distance of 27 inches from the trailer coupler center. Next, install the trailer brackets onto the frame of the trailer. Place one of the carriage bolts through the top hole in the outside C-channel bracket and align it with the top hole of the inside flat bracket. Slide on the lock washer and then thread on the nut a couple of turns. Slip the brackets over the trailer frame and line up the top bolt with the center mark line from the previous step. Tighten the nut until hand tight. Insert the second carriage bolt in the highest open hole in the outside C-channel bracket under the trailer frame and press it through the corresponding hole in the inside flat bracket. Slide on the lock washer and thread on the nut until hand tight. Use the socket end of the lift arm or socket wrench and tighten the nuts. Be sure to alternate between the top and bottom nuts while tightening. Then set the height of the spring arm platform. Slide the spring arm platform into the outside C-channel bracket and set it to the correct height. The ideal height for the flat portion of the platform is 9 inches below the top of the trailer coupler. Once you have the spring arm platform set to the correct height, insert two carriage bolts into the square holes in the outside C-channel bracket that line up with the corresponding holes in the spring arm platform. Press them all the way in and slide on a lock washer and thread on a nut on each bolt. Tighten to hand tight, then use the socket end of the lift arm or socket wrench and tighten the nuts. All trailer bracket bolts will need to be torqued to 65 foot-pounds. Repeat these steps on the other side of the trailer frame. We will now assemble the spring arms. Insert the spring arms into the spring arm sockets. Insert the clevis pin into the hole from the inside to the outside of the hitch. This is to allow easy access for the cotter pin. Secure the clevis pin with the cotter pin. Repeat these steps on the other side. We will now determine the distributed tongue weight, or DTW. You will now need to use the DTW tool on the WaySafe app or our website to successfully fulfill these next steps. Input your gross trailer weight into the DTW tool. Gross trailer weight is the overall loaded weight of the trailer. This particular toy hauler weighs 9,000 pounds with a loaded side-by-side. -side. Now, back up the tow vehicle to the trailer and lower the trailer coupler onto the tow ball. Lock the coupler and insert a safety pin or lock for secure attachment. Continue retracting the trailer tongue jack until it raises off the ground. Check your waist safe gauge and input your tongue weight into the DTW tool. Make sure your tongue weight is within a 10 to 15% range of your gross trailer weight. For this example, the trailer has 950 pounds of tongue weight. You will now need to take three measurements of your towing system to get the correct DTW. To take dimensions, pull out one of the spring arms until the bar is perpendicular to the hitch head. This arm will be used as a base point to take measurements. Always measure using the side of the spring arm closest to the tow vehicle. 
The inside face is in line with the tow ball. Measure in a straight line from the rear vehicle axle center line to the tow ball. Measure in a straight line from the tow ball to the center of the trailer brackets. Measure from the center of the ball coupler to the center line of the single axle or center line between multiple axles. Insert these three measurements into the DTW tool. Now that we know what our required DTW is, it is time to hook up the spring arms and distribute the weight. Slide the spring arms onto the spring arm platforms. If you are towing a heavy trailer that creates vehicle squat keeping you from being able to slide on the spring arms onto the spring arm platforms, you will have to use the trailer tongue jack to lift both the tow vehicle and trailer until you can lift the spring arms into place over the spring arm platforms. If that doesn't work, you may need to use the lift arm. Use the L fingers and the L finger pins to secure the spring arms onto the spring arm platforms. Now use the live adjustment mechanism to distribute your towing system. Using the calculated DTW populated on the DTW tool, use the included lift arm or a socket or a cross wrench and tighten the lead screw until your tongue weight gauge reaches the required DTW number. Turning it clockwise increases tongue weight and counterclockwise decreases tongue weight. Once the tongue weight gauge has reached the required DTW, your system is now distributed. It is important to note that the DTW will normally, but not always, read somewhere between two to three times your original tongue weight. You are now done, and yes, it was that easy. To disconnect your trailer from your tow vehicle, unhook the electrical cables, chains, and breakaway cables from the tow vehicle. Use the trailer tongue jack until it starts to raise both the trailer and tow vehicle. Continue to lift until the weight is lifted off the ends of the spring arms, allowing you to easily pull off the spring arms from the spring arm platforms. Remove the L-finger pins and L-fingers. Slide the spring arms out and away from the trailer frame to clear the trailer brackets when you lower the tongue jack. Continue to lower until you can unhook the trailer coupler latch. Use the trailer tongue jack to lift the trailer off the tow ball and pull the tow vehicle away from the trailer. Unhook the spring arms from the head assembly and remove the head assembly from the drawbar. Store your true tow weight distribution hitch in a safe and secure location that is protected from weather conditions. To ensure an intended lifetime of use, Remember to inspect and maintain the true tow system according to the user manual instructions. Thank you.